So, so far we have this pretty, pretty established profile view, which we've created. We've done nothing really on our green view, uh, but we're gonna leave this tab bar view alone for a little while. We're just actually going to abstract this so I can grab my table, my tab view. Again, we're gonna create a new view. We'll call this tab view. And then I'm going to paste this in here. So if I want to have my, my tab view, I can add this back in at any time that I need it. Okay. For now, we're gonna have a little bit of a break from this. This is your first milestone to complete your profile view. So I will leave you to make some design changes and implement it in a way which suits your cause. Uh, we're going to move on to a little bit with buttons. So for now, I'm not going to have my tab view. I'm going to show you buttons. So now I'll start off with that blank view by removing that tab view. And we're going to start to add in a button. So a button in the same way that we have text views are also views. We can call them in a similar way, but we can also have other features. So for example, we have a button that says show alert, but we also need to have an action associated with this. So we need to have a closure. From here, I can have a button that says show alert. And if I press that within my console, it should output that print. Next thing we're going to do is to establish a state. Now if you haven't used states before, they're basically just variables. Uh, but what we can do is use these to check if uh, a certain property within some of these views has been toggled. So let's create a state. And the best way I think to learn these is to just practice using them. So we're gonna have a Boolean called show alert false. So within our button, instead of printing out, we're going to say show alert equals true. So when we press it, it will toggle that to true. And then we can use the property for alert on this button. And we can toggle this state. So if it's pressed, it will change the properties of it from false to true and vice versa. From there, we can display an alert view. I'm gonna separate these out just so you can see each of them individually. I'm actually not going to use the dismiss one. I'm gonna make it a little bit more complicated with the primary button. Okay, so the title, we will present a text view. And inside this, we can put any text we want. We then have the subtext, which is the message. And then we can have two buttons. So the first one will be a destructive button. And we'll have a label again, which is text, which will say delete. So this just shows the button from here. We can also have some sort of action. So here we could also call a function as well. And then we can have a secondary button, which will be a default cancel button. So let's give this a test. Make sure our application is running. Click alert. Are you sure you want to delete? and then my response should come out in the console. Otherwise, cancel and it will do nothing. So this is just a little bit of fun with alerts. Remember, it's always good to have some sort of uh, user feedback when they perform an action. So using pop-up boxes is a, is a way which uh, we've been accustomed to, to know that something went wrong, or just to make sure that people are sure that they're, they're submitting what they really want to.